Hey guys, welcome back to another video from my series about crafting with LEDs. In the previous video, we covered all the different kinds of LEDs that are good for cosplay or other home projects. But one thing all LEDs have in common is unfortunately the spotty, focused, hard light that they produce. And if you're not building a shawarma shop sign, this could be a big problem. So in this video, we'll go over different ways how to diffuse LEDs into a nice smooth glow. Light diffusion is all about changing the angle of the light beam just so it wouldn't hit your eye head on. To do that, we can use different materials. Some people suggest baking paper, but in my opinion, it has too much fiber and texture, so only go for it if you like the specific cloudy look. A good big brain move is to take something that's clear and roughen up its surface. This is what happens after you sand some plexiglass with fine grit sandpaper. Different grits produce different results. And sanding in multiple directions will form a different texture. Acrylic sheets also come in this frosted look variety that's already fairly good at diffusing light, so you can use that for a head start. I'm not building an aquarium, this plexi stuff is useless to me. Thing is, it's not only hard stuff like acrylic that you can sand. For example, this material is called Cosplay Flex Clear and I use it a lot for my light diffusion. It's already kind of soft and rubbery and already kind of milky looking, but after some gentle sanding you can really make it work wonders. Remember to always use fresh sandpaper though, because you don't want any dark particles embedded in your diffuser. Foams are amazing at diffusing light, because just like my Sunday baths, they consist mostly of bubbles. <coughs> Cavities in the foam are oddly arranged and shaped, so the light gets bounced around a lot before it goes through. And you don't even need to buy anything special, because something like a kitchen sponge will do great. Though you might want to find something that won't affect the color of the LEDs or make mom mad. Haven't seen them! <laughs> Some synthetic fabrics are also a good choice if the space is limited. In theory, they kind of work like foam. Fibers also provide odd angles for the light to bounce off of. And since they're so thin, you can stack on many layers. Hot glue is fairly good at diffusing light also. But you will probably want to stick with <laughs> glue sticks that are a bit more opaque. And if one material doesn't diffuse the lights to your liking, why not combine a few of them? Now for big and especially thin surfaces, you will want to use a technique called edge lighting. By pointing the LEDs towards the middle of the surface and not the eyes, you buy yourself so much more diffusing distance. And honestly, that's pretty much the only way to light up a big surface. If you have enough space, another big brain move is to mask off immediate contact point where the light is still pretty harsh. Adding a reflector underneath helps too. This is the same technique that I used for my Doomfist head armor. Instead of using these LED rings, I edge lit the ear cups with inward pointing LED tape. A good idea is to use brighter, denser light sources right off the bat. Look how much more even the 144 LEDs per meter strip looks compared to the 60. They're a bit more pricey and power hungry, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so to recap, reclaim as much space as you can, test out different materials for your diffusing layer, and consider using denser, brighter light sources so you would have overall more light to play around with and diffuse. And that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna be releasing a few more videos in this series. And if not, maybe you could write a comment down below if I missed something or um, what's your favorite way of diffusing LEDs if you have some secret tricks. Anyways, see you in the next one. <sighs> not again.